What if the 92 best teams in football played across four divisions? That's the question we will answer in today's video. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome back to another FIFA 19 career mode experiment video. I asked you guys a few weeks ago for some experiment ideas and I received a fair few comments telling me to put the best teams from European football into the four divisions and see what happens, who wins all the silverware, and really what the landscape is. Personally, I think this would be pretty insane. Putting traditionalist football aside, imagine if you supported one of the sides in these four divisions. One week you're going to the Netherlands, one week you're going to Spain, anything like that i mean it wouldn't be good for your bank account it wouldn't be good for the back pocket but it could be good fun now whilst in research of doing this video i noticed that one of my, actually my good youtube friends guardy fifa did a video similar to this in fifa 18. now i have messaged guardy asking for his all clear he has given me permission so we're going to go ahead with the experiment but i'm going to leave a link in the description to guardy's channel he's not uploading at the moment but he said he's coming back for fifa 20 so go and show him some love. We're going to go through the divisions quickly here. Now, before I get any angry people in the comment, this is not personal opinion. This is based purely on UEFA's 10-year rankings from 2009-10 to today, from 2009 to 2019. These are the clubs that have gained the most competition points, the most European points. So I'm not going to go and talk about every single team. I'm just going to go through here looking at the teams. Uh, no surprise to see in the first division a lot of decent sides. Shakhtar and Lines getting in there, but a lot of big name clubs. We move into the championship now. You've got clubs like Bill Bauer. Things start to get a little bit more interesting. You get some of the sides that dominate their domestic competitions, but don't really go insane when it comes to actual performances in the Champions League, the Europa League. Interesting to see Tottenham in the second division, given they made the final this year. But the second division, very competitive. We move down now to the third division, Monaco. Uh, Alkmaar, BC, Young Boys, Celtic. I thought they would have been up a little bit higher for sure. They always seem to be in the group stages of the Champions League. But again, a lot of big name clubs. I'm very interested to see who rises, who falls. Malaga, a second Spanish division side now. So you can tell how much of a drop off they've had. Maybe I'll need to rebuild them in the future. But some big sides in here. Very interested to see who's going to go up and go down from this division. And finally, we move into the fourth division. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of English clubs there. Fulham, I was surprised to see us in there. I think that would have stemmed from us making the Europa League final uh, all those years ago in 2009, I believe it was. That feels like forever ago. Hull City in there. A lot of these clubs just scraped in. Leicester, Zwoll in there, Rangers, uh, Leipzig. It was a very mixed batch. So very interested to see in the next few seasons who's going to go up. We can Athletic in there as well. Just crazy to see. But if you guys do go on to enjoy today's experiment video, make sure you leave a like on the video. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. And if you guys have any ideas on future videos, future experiments, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll try to credit you if I use your idea. Now, just for legitimacy sake, I'm going to go and use a random side to uh, simulate through. Let's go, no, not Dusseldorf. Let's go Hanover. We're going to be Hanover just for the sake of the experiment. The thing I'm going to find really interesting is not the Premier League. I mean, obviously I'll find the Premier League interesting, but the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup are going to be almost mini versions of the Champions League and Europa League because it is the best teams, the best 92, I think, teams coming up against one another. That's going to be really interesting. But anyways, here are all the leagues in table form. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate to the end of season one. We're going to be doing five seasons here because I feel like that's ample time to give teams to, uh, to go, let teams go up and down and all around. But we're going to do five seasons in this experiment and see who rises up and down, who the best teams are, who the worst are. I'm hoping for a big transfer. Anyways, season one, I'll see you at the end of it. So starting from back to front, Leipzig win the opening League Two title. So they're going up. It's good to see they're getting their campaign off to a good start. Surprised to see Everton down in seventh. Fulham, Rangers, Villa. Wigan haven't finished bottom, which I'm surprised by. The bottom sort of sides are Rapid Vienne, Hull City, and Zwoll. Is that going to be a constant or are they going to start to go up? I'm, I'm very, very 
interested to see whether a League One or a Championship side is just going to go straight down and just be the bottom dwellers. In League One, no surprise, it is AS Monaco finding their way up to the second division. Real Betis, Aaron with a good position. Celtic finishing mid-table. Who are going down? The sides going down are AZ Akmal, Sparta Praha, BSC Young Boys, and Victoria Plizen. Malaga survived the drop as well. That was probably, if I had to put money on who I thought was going to go down, I thought Malaga would for sure. Inter Milan and Valencia find themselves in the Premier League next season. Tottenham only managing to hit the playoffs, which is quite surprising. And as we scroll down the sides, going down to League One are Copenhagen, Salzburg, Anderlecht and Basel. Real Madrid are your opening Premier League champions. They win the first division. Who is getting relegated? It is Leon, Schalke and Shakhtar Donetsk. And well, I realized I can't see who won the FA Cup or Carabao Cup because I don't control one of the sides in, oh, I only, I control a Bundesliga side. I need to go and get a side that is in one of these four divisions. So if I get the opportunity, I'll change clubs because I want to show you who won those tournaments. But for season one, unfortunately, that won't be happening. Let's crack on to season two and see who goes up and who goes down. All right, lads. Well, we've been given an opportunity to take on one of the big four sides, one of the big league sides, Bayern Munich. We accept that just so we can see who wins the FA Cup and Carabao Cup. Hoffenheim win League 2 this season. Everton and Leicester also going up here. Rangers mid-table. Did the same suspects finish bottom? No. It's Zwoll. Well, was Zurich in there last season? But Hull City and Rapid VN, they went down again. Leipzig and Betis up to the championship. I think Getafe are joining them. Yeah, Getafe joined them. Celtic mid-table again. And it's Copenhagen, Anderlecht, Levante, and Zagreb down to League 2. Now in the championship, it is Leon making a bounce right back up. Schalke maybe making a bounce back up. Leverkusen in second. Tottenham haven't even... Where is Tottenham? Oh, Tottenham must have gone up. Okay, Tottenham went up through the playoffs last season. Basel, they have been relegated along with Fenerbahce, Olympiakos, and Spartak Moscow. And it is Barcelona winning the Premier League this season. Bayern Munich down in 11th, but Real Madrid, they went from champions last season to seventh position this season, which is absolutely atrocious. The relegated sides though are Benfica, Sevilla, and Porto. Now this is where it gets interesting. The FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. Napoli, Napoli who are in the second division have won the FA Cup. That is fair play. And AC Milan, it's an all Italian Carabao Cup final. They take down Juve. So that's the second season done. The leagues are starting to shift around. Are there gonna be some big movements in season three? Let's find out the answer. Season three has come and gone. And looking at the results, West Ham finally get themselves out of the fourth division. They are up with Levante and Southampton and elect very close. Rangers edging closer to promotion. And the bottom of the pack, again, it's these six sort of same teams. Rapid Vienne, Wigan, Hull, Zurich, Zwoll, and Legia Warsaw. Legia Warsaw, the Polish side. They're all in, in the midst. As we move down to the third division, Everton and Hoffenheim up to the championship. So maybe, just maybe, we'll see Everton do the full range going from the fourth division all the way up to the Premier League. That is definitely on the cards for them. Uh, Frankfurt going up as well. Leicester hanging mid-table. And Malaga continue to survive. Fair play to them. Celtic. Holy shit, Celtic are going down to League 2. That is huge. Alkmaar there as well. Standard Liège. Benfica and Napoli get themselves automatically up to the Premier League with Sevilla, PSV, Porto and Lazio fighting it out for the final spot. And the relegated sides are Bezistas, Galatasaray, Moscow and Braga. It is yet another Spanish side winning the Premier League. It's really been Spanish dominant. Season 1 was Real Madrid. Season 2, Barcelona. Season 3, they complete the trifecta. It's Atletico Madrid. As we scroll down the table though, Real Madrid had a very average season. We almost get relegated, but Chelsea, they go down to the second division. So a lot of the big clubs really struggling here. Chelsea, Inter, and Schalke going down. Schalke, a big yo-yo. Juventus take down Leverkusen to win the FA Cup. And Hoffenheim, 
Hoffenheim and Everton battle it out in the Carabao Cup, which Hoffenheim end up winning. And I want to take a look at the top transfers here. So Timo Werner going to Manchester United. What I want to see is obviously a lot of the clubs are going to have players going in between the four divisions, but I want to see if any of the players from outside the top four divisions end up signing players from within it. My gut would tell me no. And at the moment, it doesn't look like it. Send Burge going to Arsenal. Suarez to Juventus. Some big, big transfers happening here. Jota joins the top four divisions going to Atletico Madrid. Is anybody leaving them though? I can't. Mbabu leaves young boys to go to Bournemouth. But it's all seemed pretty tame so far this season. So, Celtic, they got relegated, but they have bounced straight back up to the third division, winning League Two along with Anderlecht and AZ Alkmaar all getting promoted. Mines and Newcastle, these sort of sides fighting it out. A lot of the English sides have stuck around. And no surprise, oh, Swansea. Swansea have joined the bottom pack in League Two. So, yeah, the, the real bottom teams are... Just stay and put, not improving at all. CSKA Moscow, they get themselves promoted to the championship. Club Bruges, Salzburg, scrolling down. Malaga again, hanging mid-table. Respect, lads, big respect. Galatasaray, Pauk, Basel, and Dinamo Zagreb all going down to League 2 for the final season. As we move across, though, Chelsea and Inter automatically back up to the Premier League. PSV fighting it out with a lot of other clubs. Uh, Betis, they even get up there. Everton, mid-table in the championship. So they've got one more season to go from League 2 up to the Premier League. And the relegated sides are Dinamo Kiev, Monaco, Braga, and Shakhtar Donetsk. Liverpool break the Spanish curse, I guess you could say. Just the Spanish dominance winning the Premier League here. They can't do it in real life, Liverpool, but they can do it when it's full of the Europe's best teams. So fair play, Jurgen Klopp. But scrolling down the table, Ajax finishing above the mid-table spot. Same with Leon. Leon were relegated at the start of the series or the start of the save. And now they are in sixth position. The relegated sides, though, ourselves, Leverkusen, and Porto. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, Jared, you got relegated because you didn't do anything to the squad. I have been renewing contracts, signing mediocre players, like players that fit in the squad. I'm not changing the whole game. I just want to keep it as legitimate as possible because I don't want to make it a flawed experiment. Real Madrid come close to getting relegated as well, which would have been quite, quite funny. But Bayern Munich out of the first division. Borussia Dortmund, they win the FA Cup. And AC Milan take down United on penalties to win the Carabao Cup. And here we are at the end of the fourth season, into the fifth and final season. Who's gonna have the biggest come up? I'm really hoping deep down that Everton can get promoted just because it'd be a neat storyline for them to go from the fourth division all the way up. And just out of, I guess, legitimacy, I'm gonna take the job here at Real Betis. We're staying in the top four English football ladder, but we're going to keep things a little bit legitimate, give Bayern Munich a chance to get back up and make sure that we're not sabotaging the experiment too much. We're halfway through this final season as well at the end of January. The big movers and shakers right now, Liverpool doing a lot of business, but this has been a very defensive focused fifth season. A lot of big name players not going anywhere across both transfer windows. So I don't know, maybe I'm going to expect some of the results to be similar to last season's. So it's the final season. I'm gonna show you the results. Then we're gonna probably take a look at really who are the top movers and a lot of the statistics that I love to include in these experiments to really see what happened. Because when we're going season by season, it's minor changes. But when you get to the end of it and you compare everything, you can see just how much things have changed over a five year span. So Ghent, Look at that, they are Centurions. They go up automatically to League One, along with their Belgian counterparts, Standard Liège, and Mines also joining them. Newcastle and Fulham staying in the fourth division for the remainder of the video. And then the usual suspects, Pleasant, Asparta Praha joining this season. Wigan Athletics, Wall, Young Boys, Warsaw, Hull City, and Zurich. Zurich all just struggling big time. In League One, it is AS Monaco getting back up to the championship automatically. They are going to be joined by Braga and Red Bull Salzburg. And as we scroll down, fair play to Malaga. They have survived the entire video in League One when I thought they would be goners. But Leicester City get relegated along with Genk, Anderlecht, and AZ Alkmaar. Of course, we took over Real Betis, so we are in the championship. And we have actually got them promoted. I told you, it's not me. Like... We got relegated with Bayern Munich, 
but we got promoted with Real Betis. Like, that is, that can just show that the small little bits I do don't really matter too much in the grand scheme of things. Hoffenheim going up as well. Bayern Munich staying in the championship. Everton maybe completed their run to the Premier League. In fact, I'm going to check the championship playoffs. Everton did go up. Okay, Everton have gone from the fourth division all the way up to the Premier League, which is insane. But continuing to scroll down the table, the relegated sides, Dinamo Kiev, Spartak Moscow, and CSKA Moscow. And the Premier League champions, it's not another Spanish side. It is PSG edging out Barcelona by one point. So in the Premier League, we've had three Spanish winners, one French, one English, and no repeat champions, which is nice to see. It's a nice change. The relegated sides, however, are going to be Valencia, Schalke, and Benfica. In the FA Cup, it is Inter Milan taking down the Premier League champions PSG. And Arsenal win an all-English Carabao Cup final on penalties over Man United. So, lads, that is going to conclude today's FIFA 19 career mode experiment. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video. Let me know as well in the comment section down below what experiments you would like me to do in the future. And also, if you're new around here, as I said, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe. But most importantly, I hope you have a fantastic day. It's been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.